So explain to me what was the discrepancy. I have a receipt here that shows that I paid for the item. Now I want to know what was the discrepancy. So what he told me is, and I can I'm, see right I, here. I don't care what he, tell, what he told you. I want to know what the discrepancy is. I'm just going based on what he told me. So, so why didn't he tell me what you told me? I don't know. No, I can record you. You out here. You in, you in this too. You in this too, partner. You in this too. Yeah, what's happening? You in this. Are you people brain fucking dead? Why are you asking me? Talk to your boy here. Why are you talking to me? Don't talk to me, man. Y'all brain dead or something? Working on one fucking side of your brain or something? Do you know what's going on here, man? Do you know what's going on here? Hey, you, I'm talking to you. Do you know what's going on here? I just got it here. So what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your game plan here? I don't know. What's Why are you plan? here? So I'm here, so if, I, if you're not here, you, know, you don't know what's going on here, you know? Okay, so what's, what you doing here? What's your role here? Well, this is all good, so I don't really care what's on here. So I want to know why I was stopped. That's what I was trying to ask. Well, you know what? I hope I, you'll be asking my attorneys what you'll be asking. Stupid motherfucker. Motherfucker don't have a brain so cell in his goddamn head. head. Just want to ask what's going on. I wasn't well, why are you asking me what's going on? This your boy here. You ask your boy. You ask your boy. Why are you talking to me? You know. Why are you talking to me, sir? Why are you talking to me, sir? Why are you talking you to me? Sir, guy. this conversation is over. Go away. Just go away. You're dismissed. Go the fuck away. Don't, what? You looking like you want to jump me or something? Jump me. Here, hit me. You want to hit me? Hit me. Hit me, motherfucker. Hit me. Take me out. Shoot me, motherfucker. Shoot me. You security, shoot me. No, I don't have to. Shoot me. Beat me down. Do what you want to do. I don't have to do this. Put your hands on me. Lay hands on me. I don't care. Oh, yes, she's do what you got to do. So talk to your boy here. Your boy should find out from them. They stopped me, so they wouldn't give me any information while they stopped me. I gave this man my receipt, and he created a situation. So they wasn't talking to me, telling me what was going on. So I want to know why I was stopped. OK. Are you recording? Yes, I am. Can you please stop recording me? No. Okay. Well, then, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to speak with you. And why is that? Because I don't want you to record me. If this is a public place, ma'am. I understand. I have a right to record. I understand that, and I have a right to turn around and walk away. Well, do that then. You to please I wanted to you. find out I will be more why than happy I was mistreated. You. More than happy to help you, but well, I you haven't answered my question. If you would stop I want to know. Me. What, what right, what legal right do I have to stop recording you? If this has nothing to do with the legal right, it's just I would appreciate it if you stopped recording me. But well, it's my legal right to record. Okay. It's my camera, and I can press the button on it, record, and that's what I'm doing. Okay. Well, I will be more than happy to help you after you stop recording me. No, I'm not going to stop recording you. Okay. I'll and if I have to have my attorney okay. to come and deal with this, that's what I'm going to do. Until somebody answers my question, I'm not leaving. I want some answer to my question. Hey, miss, what is your name? What's her name? Oh, you're going to play dumb too, huh? You're going to be a stupid ass motherfucker too, huh? Okay. I want to know, did you just accuse me of stealing? 
No, no, no. You stopped me. No, I check only that. So you accuse me. You assume I stole those items when I gave you my receipt. And I want to know why is that? L listen, why did you assume that I stole those items? Tell no, me. Not, not, not so late. I yeah, 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 yeah. I gave you a receipt. I will check only the receipt. I gave you a receipt. Okay. To show that I paid for the items. Okay. But you stopped me and interrogated me and your boy. And I wanted to know, and you haven't yeah, explained to me you know, why you stopped me and why you decided to assume that I stole these items. No, not, 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 not I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, no, 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 I sir. It ain't what you're thinking. You, it's you what you did. Do you have a receipt? It's I what know. you did, sir. But that's what you did. You made me feel like I had committed a crime. Okay? Okay. okay. So you treated me like a criminal. No. Oh but yeah, that's, that's oh yeah, that's it's that's too late that's now. That's oh yes, you did. No, no. And I got it here on camera. Oh yes, you treated me like I was a criminal. Is it because of, is it because of my skin? Chef, my sorry, skin tone? No, 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 sir, criminal. it's too late to be sorry. I, I, I had the lady over here to check me out to make sure just so this wouldn't happen. And it happened any damn way. <clears throat> so you guys treated me like I'm a, I'm a thief. <laughs> You, and I want to know why. Listen, listen. I'm at, no, no, no. Ain't no why. No, listen. You listen to me. Tell me why I was treated like. And where's the manager? Who's the manager here? I want to talk to the manager. I think she was the manager. That, that lady. The manager of what? The store? Yeah. Yeah. That, oh. that, that lady. You, you, you see the lady that. She's the store manager? That the uh, assistant store. Manager. She runs the whole store. Yeah. And what is her name? I want her name. Who is that? Oh, Brianna. Yeah, Brianna. I think Brianna, yeah. So who is Brianna? Not, not, not only a manager for the, you know, in a customer service. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I will talk like So like what that. is the, who is the assistant manager? Is the assistant manager here? Assistant manager, manager right now, sir. Is, he, he go home. He get home. So who is the third person in charge here? Is she, a, is she a head of security? Is she head of his department? Is, is, is she his boss? Hello, sir. I will talk to maybe Brianna. Uh, let's make sure nobody steal my stuff, sir. Hey, give me back my receipt. Yes, baby. Darling, do you know what? Let me stop recording here for you. You know, when I got outside the store, they stopped me. No. They interrogated me. They embarrassed me. They treated me like I was a criminal. I gave them the receipt, and they still called somebody else security. And the woman, the Caucasian woman, she- I remember you taking your receipt out of here. Well, you have you check me out. I'm the one that checked you out. Let me make sure I get your picture, cause I, I'm gonna sue Walmart about this. This lady checked me out, y'all. So I just want y'all to know. So they stopped me at the door, mm -hmm. treated me like I stole those items, cause I didn't have them in a bag. I gave the guy the receipt. The boxes were too big for the bag. Period. Exactly. So they stopped me and interrogated me, and threatened to hit me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take you to my manager so we can let him know about this. Follow me. Is this a store manager? Yeah, we have. I have a store manager. They said he, they was gone. All of them gone. Chris is still here. Let me see if he's back from this store. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I did this with you, Miss. Let you check right. me out specifically so this would not happen. So this would not occur. My lovely customer right here, he was at my register. I'm the one that checked him out. Uh -huh. He said when he got to the door, they tried to say that he stole some shoes and stuff. And I have proof that I was right there at that register when I checked him out today. No, I had a receipt. Hey, Chris. I'm not oh, you're not on the clock, baby? Right? Yeah. Then I checked them out, and so when he went down there, they just tried to make it seem like that he stole some shoes. And I was the one who checked them out right there at register number 31. Okay. Which is specifically why I had her to check me out. So when I walked out that door, that what happened to me just just now would not happen to me, and it shouldn't have happened to me. Yeah. Uh, so I can understand. 
I'm think, highly upset. I could call Coach Brianna over if you'd like to talk to somebody a little bit higher than me. I'm just a lead, so I, I'm technically over at Carol. I'm only closing tonight. Right, because I feel like, you know, the son of the to let y'all know yeah. that I was right there when, when I checked him out with everything. The boxes that the shoes were in, they're too big for the bags that we have. So, yeah. yeah. The work boots? Yeah like, yeah, like the work boots. So my question is, is that standard operating procedures for Walmart to I'll be stop right back, baby. Let me go help out this customer. To stop customers when they walk out the door with their receipt. And then set out no alarm or anything. Um, honestly, I'm not too sure about that standard pre procedure because I'm usually always in the back. I'm not really ever up front. So I'm not too sure about that, but I can call someone who's like one of my bosses up over here if you'd like to speak with her. She'd be able to give you a better answer than I could. Well, I talked to the woman, I guess, over security here, over the security department or something, and um, she just basically told me to stop recording her and to pretty much leave the store. And I said I would not because uh, I have a right to record, you know, oh, in yeah. the store, out of the store, whatever. I, I'm honestly not too sure. I know that they do like receipt checks and stuff like that, but I don't know exactly Well, I what, gave them the receipt. Yeah, I don't know exactly what the standard procedure for the do door host is. That's uh, not uh -huh, something uh -huh. I'm over. Hi. Are you ready to talk? I still have my camera rolling. Right. Oh, you can just sit those down. No, I'm, these are yours. I'm not going to No, you can just sit them down. No, you can sit them down. But I am going to apologize to you for what happened. You can sit those down. Okay. No. Oh, who, who are you? Put them on the floor. And, and you are? I'm Brianna. And you're? I'm the manager on duty. Store manager or department manager? I am the GM manager. The general manager? I'm a, the general merchandise manager. Okay. So I take it both the store manager and the uh, system manager is off, not no, here. I'm the highest paid man in the management here tonight. So you're next to the store manager? Mm -hmm. So I want to know why your employees interrogated me the way they did, embarrassed me, and made me feel like a thief. That I can't answer. I, I don't know I wasn't up there. Well, I mean, so I, did I you, there, I to can to you ask them that. to explain to me? They can explain it to me if they can't explain it to you. I want to know why I, as a customer, why I was treated this way. That man treated me like, oh, like somebody, you know, a terrorist. And, and, and I'm, I'm not too happy. And of course I'm gonna, you know, contact my attorney. Maybe we can deal with corporate with this. But I'm just trying to get an explanation of why that had to happen to me. And I'm, I'm damaged, you know, I've been embarrassed. I've been made to look like I stole something when I didn't, when I had a receipt, and I willingly and voluntarily gave the receipt to the gentleman, and then he just created this firestorm of a situation. Embarrassed me in front of the whole store, and your security guard, they looking at me and standing around me like, I'm getting ready to break out of prison or something. And I don't appreciate being treated like that, period. I, I am so sorry. I have been mistreated so many times in my life. I mean, I'm an old man, you know, I ain't no, I ain't no youngster, you know? So I know how things work. I'm a business owner myself. But only thing I like to do is I like to get answers to questions when things like this happen. Nobody's security, none of them seem to know. Barely, they, I don't know. So nobody answers my questions. So, um, I just thought maybe you could be, you know, do a little bit better than these folks. I just want to apologize for what did I, I did. Did they get my receipt back? I put to your me? receipt back in there, and I made sure that your product was in there. And um, I did go in there and I watched the video because I couldn't get a straight answer from either one of you guys as to what happened. And, well, um, all I know I, is I, I came here and I shopped. I, I, I paid for my receipt. merchandise. I did my part of the bargain. Right. I paid Walmart. Now, once I pay Walmart, I'm free to leave the store. Right. Nobody should be stopping me and, oh, you can question me, but then when you look at my receipt, you tell me, oh, these are like, they, uh-uh, no, this can't be the price. Right. When you question something Walmart did, and you put that on me, the customer, no, that, that just don't fly. Right, I completely understand why you're upset. I'm so sorry that happened. Okay, now what can I do about this situation? I'm going to take care of that situation. I have already spoken with my associate. There will be some coaching and teaching and training. Um, with our with our door associates, I just wanted to apologize again. 
what happened. I, I truly am sorry for what happened. Well, that doesn't make me feel any better, but I guess that'll suffice for right now. And so, why did they do that? I don't, I, I don't know. I did you ask know. them? Uh, did you ask the man that, that's normally on the door? Yeah. Did you ask him why? Why what happened happened? Why did he question and stop me and block me from? That's like kidnapping. I couldn't leave the store without my merchandise. I mean, I guess I could have ran off, but then that would have really made me look bad. So, can you get an answer for me from your security personnel and your customer service people? Honestly, the security personnel he was like, I'm not sure what's going well, on. Well, the person that the and person that the stopped me, host, yeah, he didn't have an answer for me. No answer. Yeah, he's just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, all right. I will definitely take care of that situation.